Hey, this is full. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to show something I'm working on. This is the first time I've ever tried to make a shirt. Uh, I believe what I'm going to do is uh, I was going to try to fringe this out, but that's not going to look right, so I'm going to run a seam down each side, and I'll have a double row and a single row, so they'll make sure to collect together. Um, and I think I am going to run the seam with 550 cord. Uh, a little of the old and a little of the new. And uh, if I need ever need 550 cord, I've got some on me. So I think I'm going to do that. But I'm just wanted to show um, what I have so far. Um, this is a new new thing for me. So I've still got to uh, need to dress this up up here. I've got to cut this down a little more, put me some uh, items there, uh, cord there. Um, I'm going to uh, have to finish up my holes and to cut some sleeves, um, do some things like that. This will stop at the waistline. Um, you might put another couple of holes in. So when you bend down, that kind of thing, it doesn't bind up. So you need to stop around your belt line, uh, maybe a little lower. Anyway, that's where I'm at so far, and uh, I'll continue forward. All right, I've undone everything. I've got a double row here. Got this marked out, I've still got a punch, and I've got a single row over here. This will overlap this. So the strings will come through here, through here, overlap the seam, come back in over here. So it keeps it nice, neat. Uh, you're not going to break anything. It makes your seam stronger. And they'll stretch and that kind of thing because it is leather, but it should make it uh, a little easier to deal with. And uh, I left this because this is going to be the shoulder. Like I said, I still got to handle my uh, rest of my holes here. And I'll layer up under this because this is the back, uh, the underside. I will layer this, put the sleeve here. This is not the sleeve, but we'll put the sleeve here. All right. And what will happen is this will stitch, okay, so this will be the underside, it will lay over like a, um, you know, like a should on a shingle, like a shingle, shingle should, something like that. Anyway, and then I'll uh, leave this edge natural and I will uh, fringe it over the top. I have this under the bottom, we're going to do the plain style on this model, on uh, this unit, and this is not the sleeve, this was uh, actually part of the cow's leg to hide off the leg. It's not going to do what I want it to. So uh, basically what happens is on a plain style is they come together like this and we'll match it up wherever we need to match it up. Now you can see now why. I mean this is just too narrow. Basically we'll put a hole in here along here and you tie ties that will hang down as opposed to fringing. And that was the Plains method of doing this. Um, so we're we're combining some stuff, you know. But I'm just going to for all the binding. Um, I'll, I'm going to uh, do it with 550 cord. See how it looks. I don't think I have any coyote brown. That would be ideal for this hide, this color. But um, green might work as well. So I'll get back on it. All right, this was supposed to be the front of the shirt. But with the sleeves on, it actually came up short the way my body, I guess the slope over the top, uh, worked. So uh, what I've done is made the V, the neck a little bigger, and I'm going to lace up the old front, which is going to be the back. Of course, the back was going to be laced up anyway uh, to where the junction was big enough to get my head in. I'm glad I didn't go all out and bring this all the way down. 
So uh, this is going to get sewn up, and then I'm going to take the bottom of the front and uh, bring it back down. So that's that's where that goes. Here it is, finished. So uh, I will be wearing that. On uh, at the shindig, so it's kind of my version of a war shirt slash mountain shirt. Leather's good, but those uh, lacings done with 550 cord gives you extra 550 cord, and also will not come undone. You're not going to break them. So the weak point is actually the shirt itself. There are only three pieces, separate cuts of leather on this shirt. That's uh, I did that for a reason, and I'm rather fond of it. Came out better than I thought it would. Uh, still needs some improvement, of course, but uh, I think it's pretty good. So I wanted to, uh, thought I'd go ahead and give a final on this and the way it looks. Um, feels pretty good actually. I was, I was concerned with it. Glad my guts are getting a little smaller. But uh, here it is. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. I appreciate it.